Everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix no display when you upgraded your CPU. Now, the reason this is probably happening is because you upgraded your CPU and the motherboard that you have is a little bit older and it doesn't recognize the upgrade. So what we will need is just a simple flash drive like this. So this one is 64 gigabytes. We're gonna to need to format this to FAT32 for your BIOS menu to actually recognize it. So let's go on over to my computer right now and get this information. So we want to go to search and type in system information right now. And if you don't have another computer available to you to do this, just put in your old CPU and then start up your computer like normal. Make sure you have the fan on top of it and the heat sink so it's not overheating. So once we start up our computer, type in system information down here. Information on the top left. And we are looking for the baseboard manufacturer. So mine is Gigabyte Technology. And the baseboard product is B450M. So I need to go ahead and download the drivers for the BIOS. Now there's one more thing I need is the revision number if that version of the motherboard actually has it. And you can find this directly on the motherboard. It's gonna probably say somewhere on it. For mine, it's in the bottom left corner when I have everything just plugged in. You can see it right behind the cable. So once you have the information, we need to go to the manufacturer's website. So for me, it's Gigabyte. So I'm going to go to Google and then just type in Gigabyte. Now you could just type in all that information there uh, with the model number and just see what pops up. So here it is, Gigabyte. Let's go to this and then go to service and support. Wait for this to load. Go to consumer products and then go down to the download center and let's select a product lineup motherboard select series i'm going to go to all and then select category and i'm going to go until i see my model number so it's the b450m and i know this is an amd so i'm going to scroll on down past the intel section till i get to amd i can see all this so let's see board uh, b450m right here are Let's select this, then go to the model name. So I got the B450M, and here is where you might run into issues. So you have version three, and then you got revision 1.5, etc. And this is where looking at your actual motherboard and getting this revision number is very helpful because you don't want to download the wrong one. It might not work when you try to update it. So I know mine is the B450M DS3H revision 1.0. So let's go ahead and just select this. Then go to the BIOS right here. And then wait for this to load and get the most current version. So it looks like the top one is the most current version, September 2nd, 2024. So let's download it here and then save it somewhere. So let's just save it here. And then I'm going to open up my location for it. So here's the location and I'm just going to drag this to the desktop. And we're going to open up this later on and unzip it so I can close this down. Now what we need is that little USB drive that we had before. So I have this one right here. We need to format it to FAT32. Now if it's too large, if it's above 32 gigabytes, you won't be able to format it unless you create a new partition on it. So we're going to do that right now. So if it's too large, you're going to only be able to format it to EX. FAT, which is not going to be showing up on your BIOS. So we have to plug this in and then go on over to create a partition on it. So when we plug it in now, let's go to search and go to create and format hard disk and then open this up. And let's drag this on over here and enlarge it. So it looks like we have my disk two is my removable drive. Make sure you are selecting the correct drive. If you correct the uh, select the wrong drive, you're going to be deleting your hard drive. So make sure you select the correct one and all the information on here is going to be deleted. So anything you want to save, just go ahead and drag it to a different folder and remove it from the disk. So I know it's this one, just to uh, 57 gigabytes. OK, so what I want to do is create a new volume on there that's 32 gigabytes or less. So if we have a. Uh, USB drive that's 32 or less, you should be able to just format it FAT32, no problem. But for me, this one's 64 gigabytes is too large. I have to break it in half. So 
So I'm going to go to this, right click on it, and then I'm going to delete the volume. And then I'm going to have 57 uh, gigabytes of unallocated space. Right click on this. Let's go to new simple volume and then go through this process. Let's go to next here. Now we want to go to simple volume in MB. So let's type in 32,000. And this is a small file that we're going to be transferring to it. So we don't need something that big, but we can. So let's go to next now and assign a drive letter. I'm just going to go to like X or something and then go to next. Now you can see for the file system, we have NTFS and FAT32 as an option. If you do not put it to FAT32, it will not display in the BIOS menu. So you have to do it this way. And then we can go to next and go to finish. And this space right here is going to be allocated to less than 32 gigabytes. And you're going to see it's cut in half. And when we get done upgrading our CPU, we can come back to this section and we can just delete it and then create a complete uh, partition on here. So the entire space will be allocated to just store storage space. All right. So now that we have that broken up, let's open up uh, MB BIOS right here and just drag it into the USB flash drive. All right. So drag it in here. Perfect. And it's not a very large file, it's only like 15 megabytes. And once we have this, we need to put our computer into the BIOS menu now. So the easiest way to do this is to go on down to uh, the Windows Start button, go over to Settings, then go to the right to Advanced Options, then wait for this to load and go to Recovery, then go to Advanced Startup and go to Restart and follow the next steps. All right, so it's gonna ask you to choose a plan. Let's go on down to where it says Troubleshoot, then go to Advanced Options, then go to UEFI Firmware Settings, and then go to Restart. So we can see the screen right here, and then we are gonna to want to activate QFlash on our specific motherboard. It might be a little bit different for your process. So let's go on down to QFlash now. So I can see it in the bottom right, select this, then go to update BIOS and select it. And you should be able to see your um, flash drive on here. So the PNY is mine. Then I can see my model number right here, uh, B450M. So we can select this now and then we can go to the next screen, verify and file. And then we can just go to start process to update. And it's updating BIOS. And this should go relatively quick because I already did this. And it's at 100% reboot in three seconds. Now, for my specific system, when I start it up, it's going to give me the option to install um, a software, which will allow me to update my BIOS a lot easier in the future. So if you see a pop-up on your desktop when you start up your computer, go and just install that software and you won't have to do this again in the future. So, all right, so now put in your new CPU and start up your computer and you should be good to go. You should get a display and it might restart a few times, but you should be good. Hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.